this video i'm going to show you how to achieve the most realistic vhs emulation using my brand new vhs cam plugin we're going to take a look at exactly how to get results like these in just one click as well as a few creative ways you can use this plugin like to achieve these retro motion graphics for example if you want to check it out make sure to click the first link in the description down below but for now let's get back to the video we're going to open up VHS cam and as you can see, it's going to load right up. Now, just pick whichever comp you want to target and click launch. Just wait a few seconds for it to load. And as you can see, in just one click, we have a convincing VHS emulation. It also comes preloaded with over nine emulation style based on real cameras. And as a bonus, you also get a night vision and thermal camera preset. We're going to stick to preset one for this quick demo, but as you can see, the accuracy of the emulation is just amazing. Arguably the craziest feature of this plugin is the ability to tweak the intensity of the interlacing scan. Just look at the frame mismatch happening on fast moving subjects like this plane, for example, and how we can fully tweak the intensity of the interlacing scan effect, as well as the spacing between each individual scan lines. This setting alone allows you to adjust the look and feel of your emulation in a very unique way. The source page in VHS cam is really going to allow you to fully control how your footage is going to be processed from the aspect ratio to the squeeze, the exposure, the way the color is being rendered and also the sharpening. Head to the glitches section if you want to adjust the way the glitches are being applied on top of your footage. As you can see, there are plenty of ones to choose from and you can also change the apply mode from displacement to luma and also fully turn them off if that's what you'd like. I especially like this rewind button, which completely distorts your footage. And uh, I also usually pair it with glitch number two, set on Luma mode. If you want to go for more of a clean look, you can also remove the distortions at the bottom of the screen using the edges button. And finally, the timing button is going to completely stutter your footage and look amazing with the interlacing scan. We can also adjust the noise levels using this little slider. But now if we want to change the camera interface overlay, just go to the overlay section. And as you can see, we have a similar layout. We can now pick and choose our favorite camera interface overlay. And if you want to get rid of it entirely, just click the X. And uh, you can also adjust the X and Y scale depending on how you squeezed it in the source tab. That's a quick overview of the main features you're going to always find yourself going back to when customizing these VHS emulations. Now, let me show you a few ways I like to use this plugin creatively. And one of my favorite ways is by pairing it with zoom presets. Just look at how much life this little combination brought to the tripod footage. If you want to download this camera zoom preset pack for free, just head down to the description and you'll find a download link for that. But another one of my favorite ways of using this plugin is on motion graphics to get that vintage analog look. I went ahead and created this simple retro inspired scene to show you guys just how powerful this workflow truly is. Let's be real, this is looking pretty bad right now, but once we hit it with that VHS cam emulation, things truly come to life. I feel like the chromanoid slider is what really sells this effect by bending the color in a very unique way. As you can see, if we swap this simple text for something a little more polished, the results are truly mind blowing. There are so many other ways to use this plugin, which I'm going to cover in upcoming videos, but that'll be pretty much it for today's quick tour of the VHS cam plugin. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like always, if you want to add this to your workflow, make sure to check the first link in the description down below. And on that note, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.